When you go out to play Survivor, there are many things you can consider. And since the show has now aired for as many seasons as it's aired, there is lots of history. You know, people ask all the time, well, what, what things could you not have foreseen? You know, when you make a choice to be that public, when you make a choice to go on a show that is so big, um, what things can happen to you that you might not be prepared for? Well, prison is one of them. <laughs> Awful. I hate even laughing about it. It was horrible. There was no need for it. But I could go on, and I've done that in another video, about why that unfolded the way it did. But it's appropriate to bring it up here because you cannot predict all of what may come from the exposure, no pun intended, you have on a show of this magnitude. Um, prejudice and bigotry in our country is real and it is powerful. And if there's one thing I hope everybody can agree on, it's the idea that rolling back events and blaming it on one thing or another, like, oh, homophobia, oh, it's because they're racist, is difficult to near impossible. Even when everyone knows that it's a likely powerful contributor to why unfair things take place, it's so obscure at times and there are so many other excuses and people point to well no this was the reason or that was the reason when the bottom line is were you not that different person in that particular way you wouldn't have been exposed uh, to the kind of harsh treatment that is often a result of bigoted culture racist culture, the problems that are associated with stupidity. I'm going to call it stupidity because there's ignorance, as I've talked about, where you're lacking facts. But when you take a stand, consciously or unconsciously, that's more confident than you should because of what information you don't have, that's stupidity, which is behind racism and bigotry and all the rest. So yeah, there are a, a, a countless um, consequences of being on a show like Survivor for which you simply cannot prepare. That's one kind of example, but how is it going to change relationships within your family? What expectations do people in your life have? How do you maneuver and make choices thereafter different from how you had maybe planned a career or thought about how your life might unfold. What happens if you go on the show when you're in a relationship, married, uh, fiance, whatever it happens to be? How does what those people, your partners, feel about what you should do and what you've planned as a partnership uh, as it changes? Where, where do they fit in what could become this weird new life dependent upon what happens as a result of your um, being exposed uh, with a certain amount of fame or infamy? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great question. It's a valid question. It's something um, deserving of significant amounts of thought but I don't believe it's anything that could ever be answered cl cleanly enough, definitively enough to be confident that you're really prepared for and have a good idea of those things that might happen. Because the main expectation ought to be that you can't really have any expectations. Your future post-exposure on a show like Survivor uh, could go in any number of directions. It's an interesting journey. Hey, you, yeah, you, 
watching the video. You thought it was over. No, you got a job to do. Click the like button and subscribe right below. Come on, get on it now. And feel free to comment. Go ahead. Tell me how arrogant I am. Tell me how much you can't stand this or that. I'll listen. <laughs> comment away.